Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today is Monday. I decided that I was going to show you guys my pamper routine which you got to tell by the title of this video. It's been kind of a slow day but I just decided like why not? Why not pamper yourself even if it's not like a pamper day? Because usually people pamper on like the weekends or Friday but I'm going to pamper on Monday. I'm going to go take a shower, wash myself up and I will show you guys my little pamper routine. But before we go anywhere, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so you guys can get new videos every Friday and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out when I do upload. Also, comment any suggestions you do have for my channel. That way I can know what you guys want to see and I can take them into consideration. And then give this video a thumbs up for pamper routine because it is great to treat yourself. Self-love is important, but don't be too self-involved if you know what I mean. Yeah, so let's get into the routine. Okay, so we are in my bathroom now. Speaker is on. We're going to listen to some music. This is the playlist that I listen to when I'm doing my pamper nights. And it's called Pure Spa on Apple Music. Um, I like it because you're just like relaxing, calming music to listen to while you're taking a shower. Um, I'm going to hop in the shower real quick and I'll come out. I'm also washing my hair today. In the shower, I use this Coconut Bliss Great Curls hair mask and also a soft soap butter scrub. And then out of the shower, I use the Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Okay, sorry if you guys can hear kind of a buzzing sound. That is my fridge that is like freezing my stuff, I guess. I'm out of the shower now. I feel all nice and clean. Um, I am about to start my skincare. Let's do my skincare and I usually do this with my mom so I kind of want to wait for her and I also just want to like, you know, do it for the video. I'm going to show you guys what I do with my hair on a skincare, on a self-care night because it's not like my hair care routine. I literally do this and we're done. I'm kidding. I don't do any leave-in because there's a deep conditioner in my hair and I just put in some hair oil just in my hair. It's still a little bit moisturized, but doesn't need all that product in it right now. Always massage your scalp with oil, guys. Always. When you have an oily scalp, make sure your hair is massaged with oil. Alright, so this video is going to be kind of short because I don't really have like a full on. I do a hair mask, face mask, da 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 da. But that was my body care, that was my hair care, and my skin care. How much am I going to say that? And I'm going to do my oral care a little bit later on tonight. Alright, so excuse the humming again if you guys can hear it. Um, but I'm gonna do my skincare right now. I thought I would show you guys a little bit of it while I answered some girl talk questions. So the first question is, where is the last place you would ever go? Um, the last place I would ever go... Give me a second. Chicago, Illinois. I would not go there. What are you completely over and done with? A lot of stuff. <laughs> um, completely and over and done with? Toxic people in my life. Do not need them anymore. That's for dang sure. What memory do you just keep going back to? I don't really go back to memories. I like create stories in my head. I'm that kind of person. These are really hard questions. Hold on. I guess it depends on what I'm doing. So if I'm working out, the memory I go back to is like the first time I tried weights in the gym. That was a bad experience. Um, if I'm washing my hair, it's like the first time I ever went natural outside so it depends on what i'm doing i guess gotta make sure you have those pearly whites make sure you brush on each side of your mouth for 30 seconds and that's a whole two minutes of washing your brushing your teeth not washing your teeth brushing your teeth <laughs> next question what is the most immature thing your parents do well my dad sperm donor um, when we have an argument, he will um, argue like a child. He like uses immature responses to argue with me. My mom, oh, my mom's not really one to be immature about anything. Yeah, it's my dad really. What is the most unusual fear that I have? The most unusual fear? Um, I have a fear of dying like really slowly. I guess it's an unusual fear. I'm scared to die like really slow. Like, if I'm gonna die, I want to be quick. Don't do it slow. Quickly, please, and thank you. Um, what is my favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? 
Avatar The Last Airbender, always. I watched it before it came on Netflix, and if you're one of those Netflix bandwagoners who are now finally watching the Avatar, when I've been watching it since I was a child, back up with your ships. Like, people who are shipping Sokka and Katara and... <clears throat> Disgusting. Wrong with you. What is the most ridiculous argument you've had? I guess there's one girl in my high school who was like my... the most annoying person on the planet of this world. Um, sometimes I wanted to shank her in the eye. <laughs> um, I don't know. We had an argument and she got mad at me because I hit her because she touched my hair. Like, what do you expect me to do? Let it happen? Like, don't touch my head. <laughs> I guess that one would be a supposed to be a ridiculous one. What do you wish people would stop asking you? Um, how do I get my hair so girly? All right, next question. What is the biggest lesson life has taught you? Not everything is gonna go to plan. Sometimes you just gotta wing it and sometimes winging it was the best thing you could have done. What is increasingly becoming socially acceptable? Breastfeeding in public is becoming more acceptable, which I love. It is such a vibe. And also, dressing up even though you're not going anywhere. What pictures or paintings have had a big impact on you? Probably the picture of nothing, because nothing really has an impact on me like that. Um, what movie or book character are you most similar to? May from Love Avatar The Last Airbender. She's literally me, and I love her for that. What part of your culture are you most and least proud of? Yeah, see, that's the problem. I don't, I have like several cultures. I am several different things and I don't really celebrate any of them. So I don't really know what's a good or bad thing about either of my cultures. What is the worst thing? What is the worst and best thing about being female? Worst thing, our periods. Best thing, our female intuition. We're always right. What random stranger has had a biggest impact on your life? I don't miss a stranger like that. No. I didn't like look at these beforehand, so I'm just like looking at random questions. So sorry if I'm like think kicking a while to think about it. What achievement are you proud of but most people considered weird or silly? Oh, getting to 50 subscribers on YouTube. That's probably the happiest day of my life. Cause I didn't expect it. <laughs> um, let me go clean my face real quick. What period in history had the best fashion? I'm not really into fashion right now. Or like that. Um, but I really do like the Chinese fashion that is going on in China right now. They got Sick street fashion, I love that. What silly or funny thing makes you afraid or creeps you out? I don't really have a silly one, but just bugs. Any type of bug, I don't like bugs. I cannot do bugs. How quickly do you jump to conclusions about people? I don't jump to conclusions about people unless you give me a reason to assume something about you. I'm not assuming anything. I do, I don't jump to conclusions, but I do like, guess like what you're like if you're quiet or standoffish i'm gonna assume that like you're shy but like that's pretty much it or if you're like really jumpy and outgoing right when i meet you i'm gonna assume that you're a very outgoing person so we're gonna be very opposite because when you guys meet me in person i'm not gonna be like the hi i'm gonna be like hi very shy very like closed off i'm not doing it in like a mean way it's just how I am when I'm meeting new people. I'm not exactly open, happy, um, hi. Wait till I warm up with you for a little bit and then I'll be hi all the time. How would the world change if superheroes and villains actually existed? Okay, what superheroes and what villains? We're talking about DC Comics here or Marvel? Because DC Comics, mm, we may all die. Marvel, on the other hand, no. I don't need no 
aliens and stuff invading my planet or anything like that, but um, we may have a fighting chance if it was Marvel. Just saying. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, <laughs> what would you, what would, what would be your strategy for surviving an apocalyptic epidemic? Oh wow, funny question. It is funny. Um, my strategy: get all the weapons, get all the food, and kill anyone who comes near me. That's my strategy. What is the most important change that can be made to your country's education system? Okay, one. I have too many for changes for this stupid education system. Okay, one change. Let's start with just one change. Um. Okay, one change. The dress code. How about that? Let's just start with the easy, easy dress code. Dress code me again for showing my shoulders in school when these little teenage boys are sagging their pants or showing their underwear and you're gonna have to fight me. It's not that serious. You don't gotta dress code me for that, okay? I'm seriously done with this whole stupid dress code system. Whoever created that, whoever invented that, needs to be shoved in the fucking forehead with a knife. Mm. Did I take my makeup off? Well, I don't see any on my fingers. So not okay, all these questions that I'm answering, I want you guys to answer them as well in the comments down below. What is something you will regret in the future? Not starting now, and what is something you already regret not starting sooner? Um, I think I'll regret not starting my business now and waiting until January, because um, I feel like I could be further far ahead if I started now, but I'm just not ready now. And what I don't regret starting sooner is YouTube, because I wanted to do it when I was 13, but I just thought that I would be bullied in school. And I made a few videos and I got bullied for them. So I took them all down and I stopped and waited until I was a sophomore in high school to restart again. And by then everyone was kind of cool with it because YouTube had already been out and it was kind of more of a thing. But, uh, you know, I regret listening to the bullies, that's what I do regret. If you could put your brain in a reboot and live indefinitely, well, could you put your brain in a robot reboot, in a robot and live indefinitely, would you? No, because that goes against God. All right, if you could replace a handshake as a greeting, what new interesting greeting would you replace it with? Oh, have you guys seen the Waverly really Place handshake? What's that? A hat? A beanie? What's that? A hat? Crazy, funky, junky hat. Ever slept? Hair and sightly? Trying to look like Kira Knightley? We've been there, we've done that. We see right through your funky hat. That should be our new greeting for everything. Who is the worst guest you ever had in your house? And what did they do? Um. We've had a few. Let's start with this one person though. We had this lady taking care of us when my mom was in surgery. Um, because my mom had cancer and stuff. Um, we had the lady take care of us. She was a tyrant. She was annoying. And her little twerp of his teenage son decided that when me and my sister were at school, he was gonna break our Wii. So when we came home from school to go play Animal Crossing and Animal Crossing and what's it called? My Sims. We hi again. Um, we couldn't because the little twerp broke our camera. So or we so worst guess ever. Um, when does time pass the fastest for you, and when does time pass the slowest? Time passed the fastest when I am talking to someone that I very, I really do care about. And it passes the slowest when I'm at work. Or when I'm doing a Chloe Ting workout, like Jesus. What is always, what well, always sounds like a good idea, but rare, at the time, but rarely is, mm, jumping on a plane and going on a vacation. It sounds like a good idea at the time, but then when you think about it, it's like, mmm, mmm, not right now. Um, are humans fundamentally different than... What are these questions, guys? Um, are I was expecting, like, have you had the first boyfriend, but now y'all are getting deep. Um, what are, are humans fundamentally different than animals? If so, what makes us different? Um, humans are different than animals because, one, in the Garden of Eden, God put us in charge of animals. That's how we're doing. Uh, we're supposed to look equal with them. If you can broad, if you can broadcast one sentence every day, every t to every, I 
can't read, hold on. You can broadcast one sentence to every TV channel and radio in the world and have it translated to each country's language. What sentence do you say? Put your trust in God. That's what I'm saying. What fact are you really surprised that more people don't know about? The saying boys will be boys should not excuse men from raping women. That's a little tidbit for y'all. Boys will be boys is not an excuse. What are you most passionate about and what do you wish you were more passionate about? Guys, y'all are deep. Hold on, I'm trying to get my shea butter out. Excuse me, this baby's thick. The spices. All the shea butter I use. I'm really passionate about creativity and creating new things for you guys. Um, and I was think I, I wish I was more passionate about like school and like learning like that because it is really good for you to go to school, but I just I can't seem to do it. Excuse me while I go to my nipple. <laughs> it's pretty awkward for y'all, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I didn't do a face mask today because I did one on Saturday, so it's only been two days, and I'm gonna wait a little longer too. Do another one. I'm gonna go read my book now, and I'm going to just relax for a little bit, and that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and if you guys did, please, please, please subscribe. Comment down below any other suggestions you do have for my channel. Like this video so I know you guys did enjoy it. And ring the bell notification button that way you guys get notified every single time I do upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.